Look at my dream. Hi, Zoom. How's your day? My day is okay. I bought this beanie yesterday. But I didn't buy anything else. Sing around there. Mm. And I got pink. Mm. Hi, Viasma. Hi, Gongkia. I'm okay. How are you guys? I'm always in black, so I got a different color. Hi, Alphabet A. Hi, Vietnam. Thank you, Gong Kia. Why is this dirty thing? What the heck? Dirty pink. Dirty pink is the color of the year. It is how this is how to wear it. They even teach you how to wear it. I don't need to be taught how to wear it. Hi Amber. I eat medicine and keep sleep when late to Mumsy stream. That's fine. When you're sick you have to rest. How are you feeling now, Maxi? You look good with like peach and this pink, even red. Okay. Zoom says you will sub the 500 patron if you change job. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the instructions are for people who are not used to pink. Okay. But I like pink. I told you I like pink. You said, but I don't wear pink. But I'm okay with. I mean, I like pink. I like pink, purple, yellow, like mustard yellow, blue. I like sky blue. Still feel bad. Just came to say hi. Okay, Maxi. Have a good rest. I advertised for your patron before you advertised it. Really? How do you? The Twitch hoodie is sort of pinkish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like pink. Like pink. That's why the pink hoodie was nice. Oh yeah, if I ties in mom's shoe. Nice. I didn't even know. I was sleeping. I haven't been sleeping well. It's like I've been waking up in between my sleeps. My sleep. 
which is bad. Like I haven't had a long full rest without waking up for a, long, a while. Which is sad. It's like I wake up and feel like, oh, it's time. It's already very late. And I get a, like a shock. Early, you don't even sleep early. <laughs> Get well soon, Maxine. Hi, hi. Take care. How do you guys fix your sleep? Like, how do you guys have a proper full length of sleep? Hey guys, happy Saturday morning to you all. You all. Hi, Manny. It's not a Saturday morning anymore. It's 3 o'clock. But it is for you. <laughs> I sleep real early. Mm -hmm. I slept at like 4. Wow. Thank you, Mas. And folk. <laughs> You must work with Yay! Yay! Mm -hmm. Hmm. How's your day? I woke up at... What time did I wake up? I woke up at around 1 o'clock. I slept at around 5 o'clock. Yeah. Body clock is messed up again. I, was, I wanted a day rest but I ended up doing day training. So yeah. I can't really have a full day rest. I feel like if I have a full day rest, I feel like I got. I feel like I'm wasting my day away. Hi, bye, Maxi. Have a good rest. Get well soon. Time to answer Patreon. Wow. Wow. Hey. Anyway, my Patreon is. So that I could have like a stable income, like somewhat stable income, so that I can stream. So that I can plan things before for my next next trip or anything. Can't tell body clock mess up. Has has it ever been different? Well, it's getting worse. It was like 3 to 4, now it's like 5. He has reached the 5 mark. And hi, Casper. I think just make it a regular sleep schedule and it should get fixed by itself. What is a regular sleep schedule? Still having that sinus. I saw your picture on that stock tier. Is like, wow. <laughs> that is like crazy tier. I don't think anyone would do it. Who's this cozy? Whoa. Of course it's good, but don't make Patreon do much work for yourself. Need a lot of people doing too much for Patreon, but not gaining as much out of it. Mm -hmm. I know. How do you mess up your body clock when you really mess up yours? Well, if I go back to Singapore, it means I will be sleeping at 12, 12 p.m. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, 12 p.m. So that's like the best. That is like sleeping in the afternoon. <laughs> oh well, man. Okay. I feel better today. Uh, my sleeping schedule has been messed up as well, so I think we can just blame Sweden. So it's Sweden thought that's causing our sleep schedule to be like that. Hi, Eric. How's your day, Eric? Will you miss? Sweden about nine more days though. I'm okay, I miss my cats so I kinda miss I kinda miss my family. 
so I guess it's just so nice to go back home. I will miss the weather. I can't go US alone. My mom, my, my parents, like my dad also wouldn't let me go. Even my brother wouldn't let me go if I go to US by myself. And if I go with my brother, then he wouldn't ever want to go along and he would ask me to pay for everything, so I'd rather not. Who takes a nap at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? At 10 o'clock. It's more like going to sleep. My day was alright. I went out in the afternoon and stuff, so I'm like pretty tired. Then you should go to sleep, not take a nap. Your mom made awesome cookies today and amazing chocolate bond cake. Bond? What is bond cake? But I saw the picture she, she sent me through WhatsApp. Yeah, I wouldn't ask you to go US by yourself. Mm -hmm. I can't go. It's not safe for me to go alone. It was negative 14 here earlier. When are you going to Lulia? I'm going on the 13th of December. Hi, Mr. No. Mr. No says no, no, no. <laughs> it looks like it won't be cold in Lulia in a week. Heat wave coming. Hey, will I not see the northern lights then? But, but, as long as it's not cloudy, I think that's fine, right? It does it have to be cold to see the to see the northern lights? Oh, and I had a really bad night yesterday. Like when I was showering, I showered for like twelve minutes, and my host knocked on the door when I was shower showering, and she said like, um, only quick showers, don't no waste water, and then she. She asked me to, to like, off my water tap, like the shower thing. So rude. 12 minutes of showering is long. I was kind of pissed off. I was so annoyed that I was searching, like, whether I can cancel my reservation and like see if I can find a cheap apartment but I didn't I couldn't cancel my my reservation because they say that it's already you're already staying there so annoying she knocked on the door and after that I off my shower and she told me not to waste water, only quick showers and asked me to switch it off. <sighs> I'm gonna give a bad review. But she has like pretty good reviews though. Like all her reviews are all like 4 stars and 5 stars. I don't understand why it's like racist or something, I don't know. But then she had like no, like Asian guests too, so I have no idea. What the hell? I don't know. I don't feel like twelve minutes is that long. Yeah, I can't eat in the room. I can't shower for long, which is like. I almost, I almost wanted to go and ask her, so what is long, what is short showers and what is long showers? Like, I know why I know it was 12 minutes, because I was playing songs when I was showering. So I counted, I played like three songs, going to the fourth song. One song was four minutes, the other was like three, three. Then after that, it was like maybe halfway to the other song, I don't know. She had pretty good reviews, like not even one that was mean, so I don't know. And the worst thing is like, in her in her house rules, right, on the Airbnb, there's no such rules as that. And then when you go to her house, she comes up with all these rules herself, even on the paper itself, like the piece of paper, it didn't have any rules on it, like says you can't eat in the room and you can't take long showers and stuff like that. So I don't know what's her problem. First is like, one of the other guests tells me that I can't, I mean I walk down the attic too loud when the attic stairs are so squeaky and
and then the second is telling me not to eat in the room and third is asking me not to take long showers like what, what the hell is wrong with her like why did I even do wrong yeah, don't mean it's quite super short and Zoom is like one hour so should be okay. If she wants the to mind, she should put on Zoom. That's okay. Hi, bestie. Hi, hi. On your last day, please go to the bathroom at 3 a.m. Turn on the shower for one hour and eat McDonald's there. They just deserve that. I was so mad yesterday night. I felt like I should... I really wanted to leave my Airbnb, like find a new new place to to stay in she thinks she can put can push around because she I don't know I just said like everything I say is like okay 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 I don't know, one day, if she, I felt like if one more time she says anything that pisses me off, I'm just going to tell her off. And then I say, if you want, you can just cancel the reservation and then I'll find a new place to stay. And I'll just leave. I wouldn't even care. Even going to like a hotel for one night and then after finding a new Airbnb, I don't, I don't really care. As long as I feel like if you're the host, you should actually be nicer to me and not be so mean. Because I'm the one who can give you the reviews. I don't know what's the problem. So so irritating. Is that we must understand all these restrictions? Shall we should go eat restrictions as restrictions? Exactly. Super unreasonable. It's pissing me off. Thought like I could have like a day rest and then after that at the end of the day I get this kind of nonsense. What would you guys do if you're in my like you're in my situation? Would you guys actually cancel your Airbnb? Some men lots are so rude. A friend of mine got no heating during this the morning and even because the land not wanted to save you. And of course it's super hard around there to get a new apartment. I would do what so wind says. How long will you be staying there? Another seven days. So I've been i I'll be staying there for like another seven days and then I I think six days and I'll go to Lulia and I'll leave my luggage there. So basically because I'm going Lulia all the way to sixteen and my flight is on seventeen. So basically, I'm using that place as a storage place for my luggage bag. Actually, I could just like cancel. I wish I could just cancel my Airbnb and then after that, book a new place for seven days. And then after that, my luggage bag probably... But I can't bring do anything my luggage bag though. I don't know. Hi, AJV. But you give one star, that is like after the Airbnb. I mean like after you finish your Airbnb stay, then you can give that one star. But then again, like, what if you're having, like, a bad time during your stay? Wouldn't you wish that you could do something about it to fix? Because you're paying money to stay and you want to be happy. Yeah, exactly. She literally knocked on my door when I was showering and I had to turn off my music. The music wasn't that loud anyway. It was, like, only for me to hear so that I could hear her. And then she asked me to stop. Like she said, don't waste water. Only quick showers. If you really need a space quickly, there's a multiple room that my sister might be able to stop more up. So like, I know you don't want that, but if worst come to worst, just know you always have options. Thank you, Casperitas. <sighs> just let them complain every day and ignore them. That we will at the end. Yeah, that's what I thought too. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'll just do what I want to do and see what they say and I'm gonna say like if she 
scolds me one more time for like showering long, I'm gonna tell her. I actually counted how long I showered. It's 12 minutes. And if it's 12 minutes is long to you, then I don't know what to say. Just don't get into conflict. You are alone. But that doesn't matter. You have to fight for your rights. And hi, Shannon. <laughs> Anyway guys, S. Lo is my cousin. He's from Australia. And I was like searching rules and stuff, like they say if there's anything wrong with your Airbnb, like from other reviews, they say you should contact you can contact Airbnb themselves. If not, you can one then no then once you contact Airbnb, they will ask you to contact your host. So once you contact your host, then settle things with your host. But why will you settle things with your host when your host is the problem? Where are you at? I'm in Sweden, Shannon. <coughs> if possible, put the safety first. Yeah, they can't do anything in scolding and, and it's a lady, she's like in her probably 60s or 70s, I don't know. <laughs> I won't tell her to F off, that's so real, it's a house. I know it's like your house, but then you should, if you want to be like an Airbnb host, you should be welcoming and not so, so mean and rude and strict. If you are gonna be like that, then you shouldn't be a host. And hi Kevin. I heard nowadays that hosts host and reviewers can leave I mean hosts can leave a review for the reviewer What am I talking? The host can leave a review for the one who's staying and the one who was staying can leave a review for the host. So it's both ways. Hi Death Lord. So means she can leave a bad review for me too. But there's most disagreements you will wanna settle it with the person directly if the communication breaks down that's when the compromise or whatever's happening. Oh, I was so bad. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, maybe call Airbnb and ask what you can do. I can't call Airbnb when I don't have like a contact number. As in, I don't have my own phone number to call them. It all started with the staircase one. Huh? So basically, the staircase one where I where I walked down the stairs too loud and then after that it became eating in my room I couldn't eat in my room and now it's me showering so I don't know if she doesn't respect you why should you she get some in return does the host pay for one monitor she has to pay for one water though Thank you, bro. 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 I triggered Airbnb host. Yeah, host. Yeah, annoying, but I want to try to ignore you and do your thing. Only, yeah, I feel like only if she does it one more time, then I would, like, I would actually do something about it. You paying for every. Not like, yeah, it's okay. I'm paying like, I'm paying like 700 US dollars, and then she's doing this to me. 
why are you staying for free? Like, I paid for it for a reason, right? After I got shocked, on how, how do you not break your nails? Sorry, I got mad. I'm gonna get mad at this thing, but I know. I, I'm actually mad at her, but I don't know what to do. Hi, a banga P. What's up? Well, nails do grow back, but then you might have your nail being like a different color <laughs> for the rest of your life. And I have to, I have to get off next stop and think back because I realize I missed my stop. So yeah, if she triggers me one more time, then I'll probably tell her off and then tell her like if you're not happy then cancel cancel it and refund me whatever there is, there is to refund she wasn't there so I think she already went down or went to somewhere her room or something I don't know but she wasn't around but if I if she comes and talk about it or if she ever do anything else and I would tell her yeah learning experience when I buy apartment but when I buy apartment is so much more expensive and hi mom <laughs> We're just talking about my bad experience with my host. So annoying. Became 
me eating in the room and now it's me showering for 12 minutes. <laughs> I was thinking about lots of lines of things. I like them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it might make me explode like quite soon. Yeah. Every time he tells me off, I'll just say okay. Look, but I think it's like it's like piling up inside of me already that I'm gonna like tell her off soon like one more time I'll probably tell her off so far was the one in Japan. Japan host was really nice. Oh. What the? I'm taking all the wrong trains and this is... What the? Where am I right now? Let me find my way first. I like to see me when we do in close talk. I mean, your host in Australia is pretty good to write. Hey, that's not about, that's, that's different, Shannon. We are family. You're upset. Things can go wrong with everything else. It's okay. This this kind of thing go wrong. Never mind. What else are we doing tonight? Me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fish tacos. I'm gonna have a chill day, and then probably just walk around. But you can shower as long as you want, as long as it's not longer than me. You shower really long, <laughs> so yeah. Lesson. Shannon's funny. Are you excited, Shannon, to see me in a few more weeks? <laughs> what is, what's the exact day that you're coming, Shannon? I'm excited to see you. <laughs> You can paint, maybe not paint my wall, maybe maybe we can put like a giant canvas and paint the, the canvas. But I feel like painting my whole wall. 
It's next level. Maybe like a giant canvas. Like the one we saw that day that was like seven or eight dollars that size. That as tall as me. That's probably fine. January 2, okay. Now your paper is too lousy paper. You have to have good paper like canvas board. Those are good. A giant canvas. I never painted a canvas. Okay, we start with a canvas first, Shannon, since you'll be around for quite long. Is you gonna do the whole wall? No. No. <laughs> what is there to paint on the whole wall? Like, what is nice to paint on your wall and leave it there for the rest of your life? The rest of the time you're staying there. I really can't think of something that I would like to be on the wall or my wall for the rest of my life living there. Um. Paint plants. Why not paint another window? And then you have another window in your room. Instead of having one window, you have two windows. Your IRL chips from any location, something you have in good memory. Oh, that sounds interesting. I may put up maybe three layers of mahjong paper, then you guys can have the whole wall to paint. Oh, okay, no, you may not paint on the wall. Some amazing view painted on the wall. Uh, I think, I think, Mars had a good idea to paint about my trip. At least it's, it, it makes sense. Hi, you. Got Ross painted on the wall. Got Ross doing this, painted on the wall. Sounds good. A giant Bob Ross doing this. Or you paint Bob, Bob Ross doing a uh, painting at the back behind my wall. That sounds pretty cool. like Bessie's idea. Now I actually paint the wall. Uh, unless you don't mind painting it back after a short while. Yo, hi parkour. Yeah, what if it's like me painting? I don't mind painting it my wall, but then maybe I think I will get bored of the, the painting on my wall after a while. So I thought like a canvas, like a giant canvas or something would be better. Please <laughs> not the wall. Because then my board is just like normal painting. But what if it's a giant one? Oh, have you been parkour? Sorry, I don't play Minecraft anymore. Paint snow. Paint snow equals white rock. Yeah, snow is white. Then it's just a giant painting. What if it's a super super big one, as big, as big as me and Shannon combined, and it takes up the whole wall, I mean the whole, like the whole wall size. Just a pattern of that sound. No thanks, that would be an ugly wall though. I 
vegan to when it was here. <laughs> Haven't been watching your stream because it was busy with projects and stuff. Finally done, and it's the term break now. Congratulations! Did you do well? The ideas are getting worse, bestie. I think it would be nice if, like, it's a. Um, if it's we, if it's something that it's memorable, it's just like a tattoo. If you're gonna get a tattoo, if you're gonna get something that makes no sense, then you wouldn't like it for long. So it has to be something that you like and it's memorable and it, it, there's a meaning, there's a meaning behind it. So yeah. Are you taller than your mom? I'm not. I'm not. I'm, just, I'm the shortest in my family. And hi, Schlawberry. Well, well, my lecturer said high chance get A, so I guess. <laughs> Smart. Congratulations. Home is where the heart is. Ugh. Cheesy. Megan will use a canvas instead of a tattoo. I would do, I would, I would actually have a tattoo. Why not? Tattoos are cool. But I just don't, I just don't want to regret getting a tattoo that that I won't like. So that's why I think flowers can never go wrong. How can you not like flowers, right? Yeah, I'm the shortest in my family. I think because I played hockey. And when I was playing hockey, I had to like bend down most of the time. So I didn't grow as much. I think I would have been taller, but then my back is a slightly curved. Next year goal. My next year goal is to get a tattoo. Yeah right. Yeah right. Because of hockey. Really, all the hockey players aren't that tall because of the slouching. You can actually research online. Like hockey players all have really bad back because of all the slouching. They, you have to bend down a lot of times. Like for most of the time. Why is that who needs that crap? Yeah, I wouldn't have a tattoo that is exposed for other people, but it's more for myself. Then she will say she follows this tattoo artist who does very nice. Shut up! How did long you play hockey? Three, three years? About three years. Played it for three years. Do you know that you should be taller than at least one of your parents? Like, almost everyone is taller than one of their parents. One of their parents, yeah. But I'm not. So I'm still the shortest in my family. Is anyone here shorter than your parents? and then I have to take so many trees.
but it's really rare. I haven't seen, I don't have any friends that are shorter than their parents though. I took too many wrong trains. I did that in Spain on the way back to the airport. That's worse. Lucky they don't even miss your flight. That's a long ride. Nice pink beanie. Thank you, Kai Ju. I'm shorter than my parents. Because you don't eat you you don't eat much food, Shannon. No nutrition. That's why. Yeah, I'm just shorter than my mum by like 2 cm. So yeah. Have a good day, Casperita. Hi, BL Mac. Not a champion. No, it's not a champion. Just one stop. Super long and the rest of your body is like shorter. You know, it's, it, it sounds weird. It doesn't sound like it will suit your suit you having a super long shin. Hi BL Mac, how how have you been? Imagine if you draw it out, you you look weird having long shins. Don't you think? make a big bun of your hair. Oh, that's a good idea. I never thought of that. Okay, sorry. It's this way. This way down. 
cold. So cold. Lol. Sorry, sorry for what? It's only a few cm. Do I imagine the for 160? So what? Uh, if you do the surgery, how much can you? How much height can you gain? Have you searched? I want to gain 5 cm. Can I gain 5 cm from the surgery? I don't think it'll be a bad surgery though. Like, like, you maybe it would because you wouldn't be able to walk. Ugh, sounds gross. It's like breaking your, it's like breaking your arm, and then after that, um, growing your arms longer. <laughs> that sounds gross. Surgery too painful. Ugh, it's cold. Why is it so cold? It's raining now. At most 10 cm. Oh, 10, 10 cm is okay. 10 cm is good. Wouldn't 10 cm be really cool? 10 cm is quite a lot. <laughs> What's the weather? 3 degrees today, no wonder. I hate it when it rains and it's cold at the same time. Let's become the free from One Piece. I don't watch One Piece, so I don't know about Luffy. And you know how Luffy looks like. <laughs> you don't know girl to grow long taller, no thanks. I'm just saying it's cool but I won't do a surgery to make myself taller. <sighs> <laughs> hi, Obi Bang. Hi, hi. Well, I never, I don't remember walking this place before. So crowded. What do you do today? Literally nothing. I got out of bed at one o'clock. Got ready. Oh, and then came up. Oh, oh. oh God. I don't know. I don't know what you what you mean zoom. Okay, let me see my map. They don't ice fish us fish taco. Oh my god, so lame. Yeah, so, oh my god, it's so crowded. What the heck? It's too crowded. I can't. This is the most crowded place I've ever seen. Super, 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 super crowded. Can we find like a better spot? Let me ask. Okay, I'll find a place. Where's 
the menu? Do they not have a menu? Oh, the menu is here. Tacos. No, no fish tacos. We got no fish tacos. I want the fish tacos. What, what tacos would be nice if it's not fish? They have beef, grilled beef and slow cooked beef. I am back from final exam in my university. So you're finished with your exam. Are you happy? Slow cook beef sounds nice. Okay. Then I'll get chips. Cook. Cook the cola. They have, they have other drinks. Cook. Coca-Cola. Should I have slow cook or grilled beef? Hi. Can I have the five pieces slow cook beef? And can I have the guacamole with sun chips having here? Something more? Coca Cola. I eat a lot. I got chips. Maybe they don't call it Coca Cola. But uh, the Coca Cola was the Coca Cola was was not expensive. Oh, the drinks is free. The Coca Cola is free. That's good. Free drinks. So you order, you get free drinks. Sounds good. Yo, Will, what's up? Jamaica me crazy. You're making me crazy. Hi, Picard. Got the mole. In Japan, someone had to pay for the for a cup of coke. Everything was like 160. How much is 160? Hi, Sufyan. I'm not underage. I can drink. It's just I don't want to drink. I can drink. I can drink if I want to. Twenty-three dollars. Okay. Let's see if it's good. That's so expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. But food in general is really, really expensive here. Yeah. Every meal costs about twenty to thirty dollars per meal. So I only eat one meal a day. <sighs> Hi John John. Hi Picard. 
Hey, I have that hat, but it's like nice. You have good fashion too. Hey, you left your earring. Shut up, man. How many times must you say that? You say that all the time. This is like the second time you say that. Yeah, I know it's expensive, but I guess I wanted to come to see them once to experience it. So I guess I have no choice. The cheapest food I have found is probably the tom yum soup. So I will go back to the tom yum restaurant whenever I'm feeling hungry. That is about it's about fourteen dollars a meal there. You know, about fifteen dollars a meal there. I guess it's a coincidence you are sitting at the salad buffet. It's not a salad buffet, it's the sauce. It's the sauce for your guacamole. I mean, a sauce for your taco. Yeah, that's, you always say that and that's like two times. So as long as you repeat it twice, it means it's all the time. I know it's expensive, but I guess I have I have no choice. Do you want me to Do you want me to not eat one meal a day and eat what zero meals a day? I have no choice. I have to eat. Do they have chicken tacos? Yeah, they here do. They do have chicken, pork, and beef. Where's my sushi? Nah, I'm not eating sushi. Sushi was expensive. Picking sauce, picking sauce area. He has a point. This isn't Asia or Europe. Eastern Europe shit expensive, yo. <sighs> you guys are so unreasonable. Oh, you ordered fix sushi for the night. Maki san. Maki san. Yeah, if I go back to Singapore, I eat for like what? Three dollars a meal. And then because I'm doing travel stream, I have no choice. <laughs> I, I tried Mexican food, let's see how good it is. It, how good is it? Yeah, you're asking me to eat ramen or cup noodles, isn't it? Small city are cheaper. Yeah, but I chose Stockholm. So, so if I chose Stockholm out of all the places, then food here would be more expensive so I'm already trying my best to eat as cheap as possible I can't be like going Stockholm has the most things to see if you're gonna go to smaller cities out there there's nothing much that you can see so yeah and hi Aspen isn't Aspen the dog been around for a while I've seen him around Imagine if I go to smaller cities and I have to go out of the city every time, it's gonna cost a, about the same. What do you mean, are you going sub only? What do you mean sub only? Are you gonna go about going sub only? Yeah, I don't buy for food here, it's 
more expensive compared to going to like suburb areas or out of the city but then I can't be going out of the city all the time I know that, I know that out of the city is cheaper but it means there's nothing to do out of the city too so you can only do like day trips or something like that Thank you for the 10. Do you have chicken rice? We have chicken rice in Singapore and I eat chicken rice almost every other day in Singapore. It's like the most dangerous country for an IRL tumor. You will come to Brazil. I don't think I'm allowed to go to Brazil. I have to choose country which is safe for me to travel as a female solo traveler. And there's always risk when you travel alone. So I try my best not to take such a big risk for the places that I choose. This looks good. Hey. Looks good. I don't have my mods on, it's an online. 
I wish it was spicy. Maybe you should add some spice.
orders that much. I can't imagine myself just eating olives and cheese. <laughs> Because really be this scary now, like, you guys know, like, realize that when you're using your phone, sometimes even by saying the word, right, suddenly there will be, like, an ad that appears in your phone that tells you, talk, like, advertising the thing that you were talking about. It's very, very scary right now. Like, that day I was talking about Dr. Martin, and I didn't even search it on my phone, and they just showed me an ad, like, a few, like, after that. It's so scary. No. There was, there was tacos in our cheese, and then still turbos for the bottle, and high kapu.
it will be okay for you to travel alone and stuff like that.
Mm. 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 Mm.
so do that first. Oh wait, I'm not subscribed. Let me subscribe. Let me subscribe <coughs> when I'm back. I can use my prime my prime to sub to you. <laughs> I'll use my prime to sub to you, mom. Okay, great. You know what I wanted, right? I told you. Uh, please give me some. Please give me some examples on WhatsApp, and I'll do it for you. Fastest, fastest sub to get founder. Do you get founder, Sherwin? No, right? Are you really a founder? Ah. You are founder. Oh my god. I have to talk. Wait, let me use my new Let me use my pitch right. I need my I need my founder. I need my founder. If I don't get founder, means I'm a bad daughter. She's gonna be so sad. What the game is up? I will use my fixed pipe. And you guys, if you don't know who's baking Josie, baking Josie is my mom. She does like baking shrimps. No! My fish prime is on 11 December. Once a 
my god, you guys are so sweet. You guys are like the best viewers ever. It's so supportive. Thanks for supporting my mom. She, she will, if, she, if you guys ever do baking, if you guys ever come to Singapore, I make sure that she bakes something for you guys. And watching homes, now then you're following me. I thought you were following me before. And hi, PGM Sky. I'll make sure that she bakes something for you guys. Come on, Zoom, I already baked stuff for you. When you redeem the baking cream, I gave you cupcakes. Wasn't it good enough? Oh yeah, yeah, so one is watching home and one is watching homes. Hi, Yunis. What's up? That's a redemption. Okay, 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 fine. We'll, we'll think about something and a way to give you guys cookies, okay? But do you agree that cupcakes was really good? Do hmm? you agree that that cupcake I did was really good? <laughs> Candela effect type stuff. Have you gotten into the Fika culture box a bit now? By the way, not really. I don't. I don't really. I'm not the kind who go out and drink like drink and just hang out. All I do is. If I'm really really cold, then I would have a hot drink. So yeah, that's the only time I have liquor. It was. It was what? It was good, right? I think that was the best cupcakes I have ever made in my whole life. And hi Calvert, how's your day? I think if I were to bake again, I wouldn't be able to bake as good. If you were rate your mom's baking 1 out of 10, it really depends on what she bakes because she's been baking her whole life. And my friends are always saying I'm so lucky to have a, big, a mom who bakes really well. But the only time that I, like she bakes every week, she, she brings it to her colleagues every week. But then I would just like tell her when I have a craving for like a certain thing, I will ask her to bake it for me and then she always does it. So I'll rate her baking 10 out of 10 because she bakes really well and she always bakes when I want something. So she's awesome. Every time that I'm craving for something, she'll 100% bake it for me. It's like the best mom, the only, like who would do that for you, right? So like some days that I'm saying like, oh, I feel like, I feel like having, um, Fruit tart, and then after that, she said, Okay, I'll bake it for you during this weekend. And I'm like, Oh, yeah, then I don't even have to go out and buy, or I don't even have to do anything. I'll 100% have it. Hi, Kelvin. Hi, Kelvin. Good, me. I'm, I'm good too. Thank you, Kelvin. I may have locked myself out because I use all emails, you know, still have access on mobile though. <sighs> Watching home. Mother, my mother likes to bake for me often also. So basically, I think it's the same for like your parents when you ask your mom to cook a meal for you like you say you're craving for this and they'll cook it for you but for my mom she doesn't really like cooking she loves baking so she's been baking ever since I was a kid so I think that's it's just opposite for you guys for you guys it's like your mom will, bake, will cook for you your favorite meal but for me my mom will bake whatever I want when I want it so I think I'm really lucky for that but then like sometimes she bakes stuff like random stuff like for weekends for her friends and stuff like that she is not the things that I want so usually I wouldn't eat it unless it's things that I like most of the time she bakes like for her colleagues which are like unique stuff like things that she tries new in, new recipes that she tries so I would just try a bit of it but I wouldn't like actually ask her to make that for me she kind she kind of know what I like and what I don't like so yeah she knows I like plain stuff like I like food that are plain I don't like things with cream and stuff like that 
So when she bakes for me, I see like brownies and stuff, it's just plain. If she makes cookies, double, like chocolate chip cookies, it's just chocolate chip and a cookie. No adding of like random nuts and stuff like that. Or raisins and stuff. Ugh, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I have nothing with nuts at all. Ah, my head. Every time, once in a while, I'll say like, I want chocolate chip cookies, and then after that, the weekend, I'll get it. Which is, which is, I'm really lucky. Um, I don't know if I told you guys it before. There was this period of time I was crazy over churros, and I was like, I was like buying it all the time. And then once my mom stopped making it, I. And I ate so much that I didn't, I didn't eat any more churros. So sometimes I tell her not to pick the things that I like, so that I can eat it for a, like I can eat it without getting sick of it. I don't know if you know that mom, but yeah. No, she can bake almost anything you want, and I'm so scared that she bakes better, then I wouldn't even want to eat outside anymore. <laughs> You have never seen me like really eat churros anymore. <laughs> have you ever tried baking for your for your parents before, or like cooking for your parents instead of them doing it for you? I think it would be quite cool if you actually do that for your parents. Well, you have to behave all the time because your mom is always watching you. Not really. She's a cool mom. She doesn't really care what I do. I can do anything I want. Cooking me and not baking. So that's nice. Oh yeah, I baked once. What did you bake? Sounds like something my mom would say. Oh, you actually do bake cook for your parents. That's really sweet. Oh, because my mom doesn't like baking. So do you cook for? So you bake for your parents instead? Oh, so they cook for your mom cooks for you, but you bake for her. Thank you, Tanako, for the follow. My mom, mom's a cool mom. Big cake in a jar. You mean, you mean the microwave one? Like, cake in a mug? I feel like you guys are really, really good kids. Like, not, like, not like kids, like, yeah, kids to your parents. I would cook and make for my parents, but they have to teach me how. Why not like go online and search recipe? I think like, it's really really hard to go wrong with recipe that's given to you online, unless you're like me, which had a, which measured wrongly and put a lot of sugar, and the cookie became sugar cookies. No, no, not that. What the heck? Miss Google cake in a jar. I know, I heard of cake in a jar. There's a company called cake in a jar. Where they put the cake in like the... Uh, what jar do you call that jar? Medal... Medal... Medal something jar. I forgot. Um, what's the name for the jar? Mason jar. <laughs> I almost call it Madeline jars. Mason jar. Yeah, exactly. I've seen those before. <laughs> there was this period of 
that time where it was a in thing, right? That they give you a cake in a jar and they charge you so much because you're paying for the jar. Imagine you being a good baker. I'm sorry. Oh, I know how to make those. Oh my god, those are so easy. You bake the cake outside, then you use the you use your jar to make the, the shape. I mean, like the amount of the size of the cake, and you squeeze it in the jar, then you put the cream in, you put another layer, layer, layer. Oh my god, those are so easy.
I'm a founder. It's raining. Oh. Thank you for the gifted sub zoom. I will I will pay you back with the, the Twitch Prime and sub to your account. <laughs> Thank you, Pixel Lack, for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Raining so heavily. Look at that. Look how heavy it's raining. But you guys can't see it, that it's raining so heavily. But I'm wearing my beanie. <laughs> how are you going to pay me back with Twitch Prime? Um, I will sub to someone you want me to sub to in Twitch. Is there anyone you want me to sub to in Twitch with my Twitch Prime on 11 December onwards? I know who to sub to. Oh wait, I don't know. <laughs> Cold. Oh, Ox! We have Ox here! I found Ox! Look at Ox! Oh, sorry. Ox! 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 How much is Ox here? How cold! <laughs> Hi Jelly Jello! 
How was your day? You can just return me the cash to be honest. Twitch Prime is free. Twitch Prime is only Twitch Prime is only two ninety nine. So uh One week later still looking for because it's so expensive that I don't wanna get it here. I give you my account. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Oh, so wet. <laughs> Thank you, Doraemon, for the follow. I give you my account number. I don't want. I'll give you my Twitch Prime. Watch. Sweeney thought at MBS today then went for dinner. What's a good day? Who is Sweeney Todd? Doing such a show. <laughs> Why is the signal so bad here? Is it because it's raining? Like the raining weather is causing the poor signal. I feel like it is. Did you go with did you go with your girlfriend? Jelly Jello? To watch it. The time to wipe out oh, those kids' gloves. I didn't bring those kids' gloves. I brought my other glove. My heat hat on. Was well, not bad. Doesn't fo fully follow the movie because of stage limitation, but still okay. <laughs> <laughs> Most cables go underground in Sudan, but I did learn in Asia. Most cables are upward. Why is it not so bad? <laughs> I'm cold. Let me restart my stream.
this is troublesome. Me back, okay. Then why were you explaining? Is a killer barber. The show is about, I mean, the play is about a killer barber. And then. Killer barber. Killer bob. I really feel like it's because of the rain that's causing the poor connection, guys. And thank you, Fate, for the resub. Ah! Ah, the paddle, my shoe! My shoe! Yeah, he slots. Yeah, threw it with his barber visa. Okay, that's crazy. Thank you, Faith, for the subscription. Subscribe. For well, signal. Signal's not so good because of the rain. I step in a puddle and my shoe is wet right now. <sighs> into mince pie which is then so the normal people who find them savory Ew. Ew. that's sick have fun filming gonna sleep okay good night fate thanks for thanks for the subscription have a good rest did you take a look at the price of the herbs at those shops no it looks expensive i feel like it's gonna be really expensive in australia my auntie checked for me, it's $169.95. So I don't think you can get it at that price in Singapore. I mean, here. <sighs> Cold. You actually want me to go and ask? I feel like in the whole of Stockholm, it will be the same price. It was it was two zero 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 at the other store. If you buy online, it's 1500. So I don't know. Yeah, I need something for Lulia, I know. And I still haven't found something for Lulia. <sighs> Will Lulia be snowing very badly? But I managed to survive in Falun, though. My shoes is already wet from stepping in the puddle. I need to get more socks too. I got a feeling I would my shoes and all will get soggy. I mean my, my socks will set, get soggy. <laughs> Wanna bet if I enter the shop the shop owner will tell you two thousand. Wanna bet? I can bet with you guys. If it's 1500, it's okay because in Australia it's 170. 170 minus 240 dollars more, but then you can get it right away and you can use it here. If it's snowing, it's okay as long as you dust off the. I mean, you you dust off the snow. 
And I'm excited to help my mom. My mom make her emotes. I kind of enjoy drawing a lot. So I want to draw for her. Yay! I go back home, I can start drawing for her. I'm drawing. So, it's so wet. Whoa. Go with at us. <laughs> Wait. Did someone wave at you guys? Did you guys blush? Hi, Nostril. How's your day? Hi, Lime. Please don't sleep at. I can't control my sleeping habits. I have a bad sleeping habit. I can't remember where's the shop. It was somewhere. I got bad memory. Hi hi. Hi 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 hi. Hi 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 hi. Hi 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 hi. Hi hi hi. I hate talking to people. Oh, the shop closed. Shop is closed. Let's pass. Oh wait, it's a different shop, it's not this shop. Where did the shop go? I can't remember. It was somewhere. But I can't remember where I saw the shop. I, I got a bad memory. I don't remember walking past this place though. <laughs> doing quite good despite the rain. And this camera is good. I, I forgot. Where's the shop? I kind of not remember. Oh. <laughs> Where? The camera is always a nice place to... Oh, cinema? Cinema? I think I've seen the cinema before when I was watching... When I was watching... When I was watching... I can't remember what I was watching that I fell asleep. It was one of the show which the trees could move and talk. I couldn't remember what that show. Oh, I found the shop. Where did the shop go? I think you went to... No, I found it! But I need to ask how much. Just come for my expensive. I don't dare to ask. It's expensive. It's one nine nine eight. One nine nine eight, guys. Expensive. Money fly. I thought avocados are good for memories. Hey, <laughs> it's not very nice, huh? Who taught you? Who taught you that? Oh, hi Lime. Movies where trees could move. Okay. Yeah, there's a movie that the trees were... The trees the trees could walk. I think it was like Lord of the Rings or so, something like that, right? One of those shows. 
the trees could move. Yeah, I think it was Lord of the Rings. I fell asleep. I was really young then. I was like 12 or no, younger than that. Very, very young. Everyone went to the cinema, like my whole family, and I fell asleep. Once I saw the tree starts mo started moving, then I went to sleep. <laughs> See, my gun is your worst than me. <laughs> what the? Not bad, at least I remember. 